You come here, amen. Right? Give me Psalms 11, verse 5. Psalms 11, verse 5, and Isaiah 16, 18. I will show you something about the violence that the Most High hates. Let me show you what happened back then in ancient times and show you the days of Noah. Yahweh hates violence. Do y'all understand that? Okay. He hates violence. Now, listen to this. To what happened in the days of Noah. Read Genesis 6 and verse 11. Right, the book of Genesis chapter 6 and verse 11. The earth also was corrupt before Yahweh. And the earth was filled with violence. And was filled with violence. Look at this. Look at the earth today. Look at these damn Edomites running the planet. You see this? China, Moabites, bombs, armies, nuclear warheads. Is this violence? You damn right it is. This man got enough violence on both sides to incinerate this earth 20,000 times. This is what's going on right now on the earth. You see that? Both sides. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked, Joel 9, 24. They shake their hands, drinking wine. The, the Chinese are under the white man's fog in this time. Uh, uh, they are they, they, uh, uh, Putin, uh, the Chinese under their uh, fog. That's one of the spirits of the beast. Communism. Putin fighting against Ukraine and the United States gets sending them millions of dollars. While the earth and the governing of the earth is in disorder. This is the days of law, just like the days of law. Look at the plagues that's going on on the earth right now. Look at this. Faggots. And we hate faggots. And lesbians we hate. Yahweh hates them. He said, hate all the nations, right? The whole earth right now is into this. People switching kinds. Women going to bed with women, men going to bed with men, and end up like this. You got AIDS in all nationalities and countries right now. They don't talk about it on the news, but it's still real. Look at this. A woman going to bed with a damn dog. A man going to bed with a damn horse. All unlawful, wicked, violent, perverted ways. Coronavirus was all over the planet last year. It's still here. Why? Because the Most High is sending his judgments on the earth. So back then, the earth was what? Read that again. Genesis chapter 6 and verse 11. Uh -huh. The earth also was corrupt. And it was corrupt like today. These Europeans are running this earth. And back then, the nations of Hanai and Hanai were running the earth. So Yahweh says it's going to be like in the days of Noah. I'm showing you that. And what else was it? God before Yahweh. And the earth was filled with violence. Yeah, come here. Read Psalms 11 and 5. What does the most have? How does he feel about violence? Read that. Psalm chapter 11, verse 5. Yahweh tries the righteous. The Lord Most High gonna try the righteous. The brothers and sisters keeping the commandments. You gonna go through your trials, fire on one side, water on the, on the other, while you're keeping these commandments and getting away from the evil Israelites and the evil Hanover. We're walking on that path now. Read. But the wicked and him that loveth violence is so hated. I thought the Most High don't hate. Mm -hmm. He hates. Violence. He hates corruption. And guess what? We got that amongst us now. Go to Isaiah 60, 18. You're coming here. We got it amongst us, don't we? These simple Negroes on TV last night. I wish I had a firearm to throw in their damn studio. Talking about 50 years of hip hop. What the hell is hip hop, man? Huh? You know how many Jakes died in shootouts? How many of our people died from drugs, turf wars, 
Like the Gentiles, you talking about you celebrating 50 years of hip hop. Hip hop sucks. Just like you brothers and sisters that's into that thing. Grow up! Into that damn hip hop. They were killing Negroes in the street in the 80s over stupid gazelle. Y'all remember that? How many of y'all over 60 in here up in their 50s? You come walk down the street, if you didn't have on a pair of gazelles, you would have done. And somebody would kill you in the damn projects. If you didn't wear Adidas sneakers, you got shot. The girls didn't want you because you were going to school wearing glasses and the brothers were wearing their hat backwards. They pass off their ass and they were getting all the women. And years later, they got caught with child support and none of them ate. Hip hop sucks. Hip hop is a fad. Hip hop is for teenagers. Grow up. 50 years of confusion and corruption. What our people, I don't remember when that stuff started in 1973. You go to the damn rock party and everybody starts shooting everybody. You get with those women, 14, 15 year old girls getting pregnant going to abortion clinics. Cocaine, crack babies, and drugs amongst you hip hop niggas. And Jermaine Grant was one of them, wasn't he? Wasn't he one of them hip hoppers? And he stole money from the government and robbed the congregation and came in there and had a dog selling it to the people. Do we sell dogs at the base? No. Do we condone wickedness? Hell no. We put it down with the hand of the fire. We ain't no teenagers and we ain't no fads. Hip hop sucks. It's a corrupt way of life. Uh, thought, right, give me Deuteronomy 32 5. I hold that. Read on your company in Isaiah 16 and 18. What's amongst us now? God, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 60 and verse 18. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land. And we got violence amongst us now. You know where violence is at? Haiti. Go, go down to Haiti. You can't go in the street. Them niggas will come out, rob you, rape your daughters and your wife in front of you and shoot you in your head and keep going. Jamaica. Wow. Grapes. Compton. California. Niggas going around shooting each other in the ghetto. Go, go see your people, man. You know, I look at our people, I have a, I have a telescope like this. I'll be way far away from them. I'll be like, uh-huh. Yeah, that's, the, that's his leader right there, right? Uh, yeah. Look at his car. Look at the Negro's car. You can see their cars, their women. They're all in the projects, pushed up in the corners. We know where y'all at, man. And I'm on time know where you at. Ezekiel chapter 9 is going to come through here, man. You corrupt brothers and sisters who into that stuff, you don't be picked, you're going to get destroyed. And we're telling y'all now, hip hop sucks. Read on. Wasting more destruction within thy borders. And that's what's in our borders now. You go to the 12 tribes, I heard down here in Mexico, you can pick up a woman and sex her all night for $10. Brazil, horns. Puerto Rico, horns. Am I right? No, I'm not. This is what you call advancement. We made we made progress, right? We ain't making no progress, man. We making regrets. And the Bible told us to tell you this. In the kingdom, we ain't gonna have this. We don't get coming. Uh, but thou shalt call thy walls salvation. Because we're going to go in there to the gates of Jerusalem. La, 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 la. We're going to be carrying the law. And we're going to be marching. And we're going to be praising the hour and the hour shot. And the angels and all the heavens and the most high realm going to be put on this earth in Jerusalem. And all violence and stupid facts going to be destroyed in Judgment Day. What's wrong with our people, you uh, thought about? Read Deuteronomy 32 and what? In verse 5. Deut Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 5. They have corrupted themselves. Our people are corrupt right now. 
the 12 tribes of Israel. If you don't repent, like in the days of all we read about, no one went through the same thing. We telling y'all, in this time, y'all was coming with fire. Noah's days, he was in the ark. That's your grandfather, that's your grandfather, right? That's your great grandfather, right? there. The lineage coming from the righteous, from down from Shem, all the way down to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the 12 tribes. Your forefather were Mama Yasha'as, Hebrew Israelites. Not Africans, not black. Not Indios or whatever you call yourself. You will call Mama Hebrew. Your language will not show up with us. Your law was the laws of Moses that he gave. Mold, silver, dietary, ceremonial, and what else? The covenant of the land, the kingdom of Jerusalem. We lost all of that. When he said, We have corrupted ourselves, read. Uh, their spot, their spot is not the spot. Of his truth. So you ain't walking the way the most I told you to walk in. All you brothers out there ain't keeping commandments. We read it to you in First John chapter 2. If you don't keep the commandments, and in Revelations it says, those that keep commandments and the faith of Mashasha, that's where you're going to find the elect. The rest of y'all, according to Romans 11, you're blinded and you're, you're marked for death. Why are you more for death? You're coming. Oh, no, Give me St. John's chapter 3. Yeah. Why, why are people more for death now? Because you don't believe in the most high and you don't believe in my shots. If you ain't got him in the most high, you're doomed. And we're telling y'all like in the days and more. That's why we're making references back to the New Testament, Old Testament, and the times we're in now. This is uh, St. John's chapter 3. Uh, and start at verse 17 to give you the breakdown. Uh, this is John chapter 3 and verse 17. When you have a sin, not the son into the world to condemn the world. The, or the world, it don't mean world. In, in Greek, it was called Konos. Konos means cosmos. The most high didn't die for the cosmos. He died for a particular nation, Hanalama, on the Alataza, on the earth. That section of earth, Jerusalem, with the 12 tribes in there, the kingdom of David and Solomon, and where we scattered at now, you are the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel. You're the children of promise, according to Romans 9, and we're in the time of the end, like in the days of old. And Yahweh is calling you, you're in the trumpet when you come, you blow it, when we, we blow the trumpet to gather our people, and the tazah, and the yacht, and the congregation under Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, and the commandments and the faith. That's how you're going to get out of here. You ain't getting out of here voting. You ain't getting out of here no other way. Kwanzaa or none of the other religions you believe in. And especially this guy right here. This cold print. Drug addict. Just ran over people up here in Long Island. A devil. Fell with drugs and fentanyl. Ran over some jakes and killed the whole damn family. Just what kind of people you live around. You living in the time of Noah, man. And you got the three categories. The wicked, Esau, the nations, and us. And right now, where are we now? Read. So Yahweh Shah came here to save you. Not to condemn you. You condemn yourself when you don't do what? Read. That he, he that believeth on him is not condemned. Say so you ain't condemned. We ain't condemned no more. So we believe in your most high and your hollow shot. You brothers out there with the Old Testament only, you're doomed. Read. But he that believeth not is condemned already. Man, you condemned already, man. Why? Read. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of your house. And the only begotten son of your house is Mashasha, Allah Yasha, Yahweh Shah. We 
you can say it in all those beautiful Hebrew words. Rosh Hashanah, it means the same thing. What does Jesus Christ mean? Anointed Savior. That's all it means, people. The anointed Savior that was sent to us in the Bible is the great one, the Shabbat and Isaiah, chapter 19. That was our Savior being sent by the Most High, by the prophets' writings, promised to us through the prophets' writings and all, and confirmed in these last days through the pre what? Destined knowledge of the Most High. And that's something. That's a beautiful word. Read on. Verse 19, and this is the condemnation. This condemnation, what will be? That light is coming to the world. And a light came to the world. The Havishai came. Go ahead. And men love darkness rather than light. You love this damn door right here. You love voodoo. You love witchcraft. You love to go to church on Sunday. You love to run your damn mouth. You want to set up what you want to set up. Set up the law of the testimony. And humble yourselves, as it says in the book of James, chapter 4. And condemn all these wicked congregations, these damn Scientology. Run away from this. Get the hell out of here and save yourself from this untoward generation. Read on. Because their deeds were evil. And you're evil. That's why you don't want to come in here. You know why we, we, we spoke to brothers, right, brothers? How many brothers have you been speaking to on this internet service? We find out y'all a bunch of clowns. You're a bunch of stubborn, ignorant fools out there. And if we coming in the internet world, we're going to come to you on the street too. And we're going to preach to you, and then we're going to shake the dust if you don't accept what this book says. It's what the book says. Matthew 10, 5, and 6, the Lord said, Go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Matthew 24 says, It's like in the days of Noah. So if you don't get yourself right with the Most High, you're condemned already because you don't believe in the Son of the Most High, Yahweh or the Most High. Because you got to have both. And you got to have the commandments, the works, and the faith. Faith without works is what? It's dead, it's dead brothers. Genesis, read on in there, Father, right? where you were, we left off at. Come on, I'm going to come. Genesis, chapter 6, and verse 12. And the Father looked upon him, the earth. And he's looking on the earth right now. What did he say? The devil was moving. He said, Yeah, I set him up. Mm -hmm. Who will open the kingdom of man? Who will open the kingdom of men, brothers? Oh. Is it not the hollow? Who got that scripture in the book of Daniel to prove that? Who see if any scholars on to oh, got these cops on it? Where is that this book of Daniel? Most high running all of this. He looks down on the kingdoms of men to see what they doing. They doing exactly what he said they would do. Then we tell y'all Russia, the bear. May God, God, to our mission. Then we tell you they're going to turn back to their old ways. Then we tell you that out of the Bible. Then that the most high tell you in the Bible, the Moabites are going to rise up with an army, a two million man army, and nuclear warheads pointed at America and Russia. We told you that in the Bible. But this series is based on the works of the most high from the beginning of the world. And we're showing you the timeline is off. The white man said the earth is 65 million, 100 million years old. It's not that man. He's off big time. Because right. after we went through the series, you're going to see the earth ain't that old. Can't be. It's impossible. We got a scripture on that. The most high ruler through the kingdom of man. Nobody got that? Well, let's go to the book of Daniels. Let's go to Daniels, right? Who will look in these kingdoms? The most high looking down from heaven. He looking at these nations. What is he saying in his word? Let's go to Daniels. That all men may know. Don't think the white man running nothing. All right? This, uh, go to Daniels chapter 2 first. Uh, fire out. And again. Verse 28. Listen to what Daniel said. Uh, the book of Daniel, 
chapter 2 and verse 28. But there is a power in heaven that reveals secrets. And we know the secrets. Who he told, he, who he told us? What the most I said in Amos chapter 3? I'm going to show my secrets to my servants, the prophets. We know what the most high is going to do. That's why we call seers. Because we see what he's going to do in his vision. We don't see what he, we're going to do ourselves. We see what the Father is doing right now. We don't know. Huh? And make it known to the king, Nebuchadnezzar, what shall be in the latter days, thy dream and the visions of thy head upon thy bed are these. So that's when he was breaking down the time from Babylon down, down to America. Now, Go to verse 20 in that same chapter. Uh, Daniel chapter 2 and verse 20. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of Yahweh forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. So then, then when you go into Hebrew, 